Andoni, welcome to AFC Bournemouth. How pleased are you to finally be here? I'm really pleased, really grateful for the opportunity that, that uh, AFC Bournemouth has given me. And now I know the challenge. I, I want to start working with the players as soon as possible. And uh, it's, I think, an uh, exciting challenge for me. And uh, we have to get ready because uh, it's not going to be easy, you know this, you know the Premier League, you know the, the league is, is going to be tough, but uh, we have to, to, to be prepared. Now you became our head coach at the start of last week, 10 days or so has passed since then. What has that period been like for you? A lot of work, even if officially I wasn't on holidays. Uh, a lot of work to do, a lot of video, a lot of uh, new faces, new players. Uh, one of the, the reasons I'm here is because I, I, I love uh, a lot of the players we already have in the squad. I, I, I love the, the work rate they have and uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to start with, with them and try to, to help them as much as possible. You've had a day or so to look around the place, you've seen the training ground, you've seen the stadium. What do you make of the facilities here? Uh, for me, the facilities are great. They know that the club is building a new one. Uh, probably will be much better. But for me, the ones we already have are very good, are more than enough to work properly. A lot of new faces, a lot of names to remember. But we are in that process. And uh, the thing is, uh, once we're on the pitch and the ball starts rolling, I think it will be much easier for all. We have to change some things because, okay, obviously we have our own uh, ideas, but a lot of the things that were well done, we, we want to, to maintain them, to keep uh, a lot of familiar faces. I think the, the club also transmits uh, some kind of, uh, kind of a family club that I love, I really love. I'm used to work in this kind of clubs and uh, that's something that we cannot lose. You're in a position now where you've got a full pre-season ahead of you. The transfer window is also open. How valuable is it to have these six weeks to, you know, get the squad ready for the 12th of August? I think we have, the, we have time. We have to work well these five, six weeks before we start the season. Obviously, clubs doing their job in the transfer window. But I'm more concerned really with the, to work with the players we already have. Uh, I think we have very good players. And obviously, the club is trying to improve the team, new faces, new signings who, who can help us. But I think uh, the, the core of the group will, will be the same. And uh, I'm, I'm really happy because I think we have, we have really good players. The Premier League, it's a new league for you. You've not played here, you've never managed here before. How much are you looking forward to leading a team in this league? I think for me as a coach, it's a great challenge, uh, probably in coming to the best league in the world right now. Not probably, for sure. Uh, we know we are facing, you have only to look at the schedule. We start, start strong, we have strong matches to start, but I think it's also a good thing. Uh, it's a good challenge to face the best coaches. I, I will try to apply my, my ideas. Uh, as we said before, try to maintain a lot of the things that I think that are, are being well done and then uh, try to, to make little changes or sometimes bigger changes so uh, we can uh, play probably a kind of different style. In terms of your management career so far, still relatively new. You've only been in management for five years. You had that spell in Cyprus and then a spell in Spain as well, most notably with Rea Vercano, a promotion as well as two back-to-back mid-table finishes. How much did you learn from those different spells in your career so far? Uh, once you finish your, your playing career, you have to, to start with a different mentality. You start from zero, even if you know the game, you know the locker room, but there are a lot of things about methodology, about how to work, how to prepare trainings, how to prepare for the next game that you have to learn. And I think this has been a valuable years in my career. I think I arrived in a moment uh, after some good years in, in Spain where uh, I feel prepared. At the end, only results will, will tell if it's true or not. 
but uh, I'm really excited to try to prove myself also. And uh, I think in coming to a club where we can work well together. I've got to ask, I look over the last sort of couple of years, your time at, at Rayo Vallecano, there's some big results in there, three wins against Barcelona, an impressive 3-2 win against Real Madrid as well. How much do you relish those big games? Because there's certainly going to be plenty in the Premier League. Yeah, I think uh, we have to take every game as an opportunity to take points. Obviously, we're going to face the best teams in the world, but uh, you cannot start the season and think, OK, uh, two games against City, two games against Arsenal, two games against United. Two ga Otherwise, you lose 10, 12 games, and then you have to win the rest. Uh, I think we have to maximize our chances, give us options in all games. Uh, we have to do our best. Sometimes it's not enough because we are facing very good teams, but you cannot lose the chance and, uh, and, and give up uh, as, as they score the first goal. Now you gain plenty of plaudits for your style of play. It's attacking, it's high intensity football. Just tell us about it. Uh, I, we want to be an efficient team. And for me, a lot of times to be efficient is to play as, as close as their box as we can. Probably we will play a little bit higher in the pitch. Uh, we want to, to be direct, to try to maximize our offensive volume. Obviously, we will have to defend. We will have to be uh, ready to defend sometimes in a low block because we will be forced. But uh, our main idea will be to play as much as we can in, in their half. Now, that style has been quoted as wild and wonderful. It's also been quoted as rock and roll football. Is that what we can expect to see from your AFC? Uh, I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy. It's, but uh, I think we, we have the work rate, especially from our front players, that they can sustain the press. They can make us play as high as we can. So we are closer when we regain possession to to their goal and uh, but we have a lot of work to do we have to implement everything and the, the players also have to buy the idea i i think uh, from the first impressions i had talking to them talking to some players that uh, they're used to work they always used to train hard and uh, we will need it and uh, sometimes the coach has to be demanding but it's our job and I think the, the players are, are ready for it. Pre-season starts tomorrow. The lads are back in. How much are you looking forward to meeting them and you know getting stuck in? Yeah, I want, I want to start trainings. I want to start knowing the players because one thing is to watch the player on video and then uh, you don't know really the player. You have to uh, look at the small details, how he trains, uh, how he understands the game, tactically how well they are. And uh, I'm looking forward. To, to know, to receive all this information. Uh, we don't have so much time, but I think it's, uh, it's enough uh, to, to, to get prepared for our first, first game against West Ham. And next week is a trip to Marbella. It certainly sounds like they're going to be put through their paces. Yeah, I think uh, we have to work. We have to train well. Uh, I think, uh, as I said before, they are used to. They are used to train well. Uh, and everyone will be thinking, OK, little bit individually, so they improve their position on the team. Uh, but we also have to start thinking collectively. We have a, a collective idea. Everyone has to be committed, has to be involved. And uh, that's what we're going to try to do this, this next games. And just finally, for all of the AFC Bournemouth fans who are watching this interview, what's your message to them? Uh, I think... Um, the, the, the fans we have, everyone talks amazingly about them. I think the atmosphere that uh, we can feel in our Vitality Stadium uh, will be huge, will be key for us. I think we have to make our, our home kind of a, a strong place where, where teams uh, don't want to come to play. And uh, I cannot promise big things. I think uh, they know I will give the best they have. Uh, we will work together trying to achieve big things, but uh, I cannot ask anything from them. Well, Andoni, welcome to AFC Bournemouth. It's great to have Thank you Thank you. I appreciate it.